Welcome in. It is the Union County Vipers in the black gray uniforms with the purple numbering taking on the Wren College Black Knights, paradoxically in the white uniforms. Gary Aid here with you on the call. Coverage provided by 1891 by Triangle. Into the offensive possession we go for Union County. They miss off the three. Into the front court, Sims for the Black Knights. Their first offensive possession of the game. Looking around into the corner. Quick jab step. One dribble to the right. Back out top. Surveying is Mathis. Over into a cutter. 15-footer pulls up off the back iron. Missed by Parks. Away come the Vipers. Into the front court. Pump fake. Bounce pass down low. Stolen by the Black Knights. It's three on two. Now the Vipers get back. A layup is up and good. Good secondary fast break. And the Black Knights strike first. County looking to answer. Driving into the lane, a whistle on the floor. That basket will not count. Or Eric Clark Jr. was fouled. It was on the floor. Inbound it from the near side. At the controls, Aishan Anthony. All got instructions, it's one on one. Table now in front of us. Moving off help. Moving off the screen perhaps. Not much going on here. A lot of standing around. Defense has had plenty of time to get set. Now an attack. Getting into the lane. Tried to go off the window. No. Like they have got him on the arm. Foul's gonna go. I believe it was on Williams. Anyway, here's a steal by Wren College, and it goes the other way for a bucket. That's 4 nothing. Black Knights. Whistles have been flying fairly liberally here in the first half. You see the scoreboard over there. It is the Union County Vipers here at home. And the Black Knights visiting. They are up 4-0. minute and change gone by in this one. Now he's still looking for its first basket. Has not looked particularly sharp offensively. There's a nice look. Can't get it to go, but nice job following his own rebound, but then turning it over. Good hustle. Didn't catch a glimpse of who the player was. But either way, it's a three. The other way, no good. Rebound off the right iron. Here comes Union County, pressured all the way in the full court. Ball on the floor, bodies on the floor, diving for it, trying to keep possession is Clark Jr. He's tied up. And the possession arrow, I believe, favors the Red College Black Knights. Again, the Union County Vipers unable to get their offense going, still without a bucket. Their part, Red College with two. Or nothing. Black Knights, again, in the white uniform, working on offense, one on one. Now it's left right side wing driving to the paint floating it up off the iron and in nice offensive possession it's six nothing black knights nice pass down low and that breaks the seal as the county vipers finally get their first bucket a couple minutes into this one it's six to two williams handling has it taken away momentarily gets it back bounce pass Looking against that out of the bounds line. Long three is up. In and out off the back iron. Rebounded by the Vipers into the front court. Three-pointer is up. Off the back iron. Ball is taken again on the offensive glass. Blocked from behind. Looks like they're going to call a foul. That one's going on Raheem Hubbard. Excuse me. I to put an S in there. There's no S. Raheem Hubbard commits the personal. Sending Eric Clark Jr. to the line. Clark makes the first. Makes the second. Two for two, Eric Clark. My math is correct. It should be eight to, eight to four. 17 minutes to go in the half, and a three is up and good. And 
And we'll see what the scoreboard ultimately says. Coming back the other way, taking it all the way to the hoop. Nice strong finish with the right hand. Chris Caldwell for the Vipers. Williams brings it across, walks it across the timeline for the Black Knights. It's nine to six, that is correct. Really stolen, Williams with the good handle, goes baseline and finishes. Good job. What a play. And Williams extends that Black Knight lead back to five. Off of the circle, three. Off the back of the iron, no good ball is tipped and ends up in the hands of the Vipers. They'll try a three, it's blocked in the corner. Gets it right back, down low, nice feed. Good heads up play from Anthony to regather after having a shot blocked and find an open man down low. Back the other way, it's Sims. Euro step into the lane, goes up, long on the rebound. Taken down by the Vipers. Three is up. That one bounces around, no good. Ends up back with the Vipers. Anthony, bounce pass down low. Check a chest pass down low. Nice look from Anthony. Two possessions, two assists. Uh, ironically, off two block shots. Anthony keeping his head in the game and making two positive plays off of broken plays. The last two possessions for the Vipers, who now trail one. The three is up, no good by the Black Knights. Ball comes out to the Vipers. A foul is called. The loose ball foul. Viper basketball. Anthony takes it in. Dribble. Left side. Bounce pass. Post. Trying to make moves. Looks like we got a uh, body foul. Sean Bennett. Trying to make something happen in the post. That was his first. Low post touch. Ball in bounds. Oh, where's the inbound from? Looks like that might have gone out of bounds. That's a tough spot to inbound from, especially in this gym. It's not particularly deep, so kind of lose a little leverage there. And it's a turnover for the Viper. Williams back at the controls, using his body to shield the pressing defender. Donathan looks it down across midcourt, keeps his dribble bounce pass into the corner. And it looks like on the attempted entry pass from that corner, that was tipped out of bounds, stays with the Black Knights. Parks to inbound. Finds a man easily. Gets it in for Sims. And Brown ends up with Williams. He'll try a three. That one draws air. Rebound comes down. Back to Sims. He goes up with it. Check that Parks. Excuse me. And he'll go to the line after getting hacked. So about a little under five minutes into this one. It's a one-point game. 11 to 10. Make it 12 to 10 for the Black Knights. There was no good. Rebound taken by the Vipers. Cross midcourt. Corner. That three is up. A little long. It was a good looking shot. Just it was a little bit long. And off the out of bounds. So, oh, it's going to stay here. Passed off the Black Knights. Vipers retain possession. Again, tough inbound spot. Tries to go right down low. It's like a handoff. And it was pushed out of bounds by the Black Knights. Got a quick substitution on the floor. Just called one back in. Viper. Get it out. Ah, Caldwell tries a three from the corner. I think that was partially blocked. Comes back to the Vipers again, and it's stolen. Now it's two on one. All the way the other way. Going up for a lap. No good. Offensive rebound. Should have got up with it himself. Instead, gives it off and unable to convert are the Black Knights. Clark with the miss. Here come the Vipers. Back the other way. Floater up in the lane. No good. Ball tipped. Still no good. Tipped again. No. Unbelievable. A lot of hands on the ball. Now it's tied up. And I believe it's going to stay with the Vipers as the Black Knights got the last tie up. And 
Inbound all the way out to Erica. Gets a swing, three is up. Little theatrics perhaps. Anthony tries to draw the foul. The refs do not bite. Enough to miss. Here come the Black Knights. Driving down the baseline. That looked like it hurt. Three is up off the inbound and good. What a shot off the inbounds play. Dontravia Sims for three. Vipers now trying to answer. Nice move down low. Good reverse. Good footwork by the big man. Can't get it to go. Ball is still loose and finally secured by Parks. That was a good job down low by Bennett. That was a tough miss. Whistle on the floor. Against the Vipers, so the Black Knights inbound. And gets some change gone by in the first half. Wide open top of the circle three. Missed badly. Offensive rebound. Nice hustle. And again. And still cannot get it to go. And here we go back the other way. Bad shot by the Vipers on the other end. Black Knights coming back. Good crossover dribble. Euro step into the lane. Kicks out. Swing pass. Three is up. Blocked. And then taken. What a play. All the way. Bennett. He draws the foul. What a play by the big man. Bennett will shoot from the foul line here. They're making a nice block and steal. Taking it coast to coast. Rattles home the first. Second as well. And it two for two on the line there. Yeah. Three, now a steal. Going to the lane, Viper scoring. Now it's cut to one off of a nice steal and a good finishing transition by Caldwell. Here come the Black Knights trying to answer. Driving baseline, going baseline. What a finish. Man, that was one heck of a play from... Dontravius Sims. And we have an offensive foul. Good job on the other end. Drawing the contact and selling it right in front of the official by Clark. Black Knights. To capitalize on the to play, try a three, no good. Ball is rebounded off the wrong miss by the Vipers into the front court. At the controls, tried to make something happen. Kick into the near side wing. Good pass from Hurley, but unfortunately, we're unable to get it to go. That on the after hustle, but that's okay. Here we go. Front court, trying to go to the rim and finishing. Nice move down the lane. Black Knights, only up one. Not trailed yet this game, and that one is just dripped out of bounds. So the Vipers, chance here with just under eight gone by and a half to take their first lead in the night. Circle three. Was there. One thing you'll notice about basketball at these levels is while the three is an important part of the game, it's not the only part of the game like you see at the higher levels of a nice finish off a good pass from Williams. Now by Clark. Black Knight set back up three. Catching the ball, the mid-range elbow air, turning and firing. Nice fundamental basketball. That's the type of play that I was talking about. Those are plays that you'll see at this level that are nice to see, to be honest with you. There's a good offensive set for the Vipers. Here's a three, long, again, drawing air, and coming back the other way. 
are the Vipers going to the lane. Tried to finish with the runner. No good. Ball is tipped but right to a Viper, and he puts it in. One of those fortuitous bounces. The offensive struggle here for the Black Knights. Face of the Viper press as he did it across. And to man defense being applied. Now a double. Good trap. A good job. Good for composure breaking the trap. And Sims is unable to convert, but he does get his own rebound. Out to Williams for three. No good. And that one comes down to the Vipers. Here comes Hurley into the front court. Leaves it behind. And three. Top of the circle is good by Chris Caldwell, who's had a very good half. The Vipers now. I believe with that one have a four. Yeah, there it is. A Whoa, personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50 yard line. This is the waterproof lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful, get gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not ticklish. Get yours at manscaped.com. Four point lead, 23-19. The Vipers, after trailing the first 10 minutes, basically, of this one, taking a four point advantage. Ben College looking to answer. They kick out into the corner. Black Knights working. Williams using that body. Might have used the arm a little bit too, so it's a turnover. Bounce pass into the pocket. Caldwell thought about three. Pump flips. Now pulls up from about 12. Can't get it to go. Back iron. Rebound Williams. The offensive zone attacking is Hubbard. He kicks it out. Looking to make a move. Cameron. He kicks it to Williams. Williams ball fakes. Now down low. Good baseline cut. Reverse layup is up and good. What a play. Good offense. And they're going to give him the foul as well. Great offensive sequence for the Black Knights, and it will be Clark heading to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Free throw. Here we go the other way. Three is up in the corner and right back at you. Nice play by the Black Knights. Down low. Kicks it out. Williams tries a runner in the lane. Can't get it to go. Ball is tipped. Taken by the Vipers into the front court. Nearly taken away. But they get away with it. And they finish on the other end. Game a hot potato down court. And now a steal on a dangerous pass. Spin move into the lane. Caldwell can't get it to go. I believe that's going to be a blocking foul. That was a little bit of extra. A little extra something there from Chris Caldwell. That was nice. Just not able to finish on the lay-in, but he does, in fact, go to the line for two. Everyone makes the first. First half, bounce pass down low. Nice left-handed finish. Ooh, that was pretty. Williams with the offhand. Nice touch. Now on the Vipers, so it goes right back to the Black Knights, who are down six. Williams will inbound. Gets it into the top of the circle. Sims, post, kicks it to the top. Now on the near side wing. Drive down the lane. That baseline's been nice to him. 
And that was Sims, excuse me, it was Hubbard. Initially, Sims on the attempt, can't get it to go. He is up in the corner, and that one is good. So the Vipers, after struggling early, have really found their offensive rhythm here in the last five minutes. They lead by seven. Williams gets to the lane, throws up a runner, no good, ball is tipped. Williams ends up coming away with it. It's to the corner. Hubbard, now the Sims, near side. Looking around, trying to make a play. Mathis tries a three, can't get it to go. Rebound comes down for the Viper. Now to get into the front court quickly. He is up, no good, rebound over the top. Nice play by Bennett, tried to go with the no look pass, it's stolen away. Lane going with the left-handed runner. No good from Mathis. Tied up. Looks like Bennett and Parks. This narrow goes to the Black Knights. 32-25. Seven-point game. Seven and a half to go in the half. Cover. Ball taken away by the Vipers. Here they come the other way, one on one, one on none as it turns out, and a rolling layup is good. Nearly missed that one. Good. Back the other way, Black Knights again convert. And now they seem to have kind of reestablished their offensive rhythm, although now defensively they break it down two possessions in a row. That time it does not come back to haunt them. Vipers miss. Here we go into the lane the other way. What a running layup. They're going to count it and the foul. Oh, Sims again. Wrong move for Sims. It was off. Other side. He is up. That one is right down the middle. What a shot from Seraphim. And now a steal. Nope, check that. Tipped, but Williams comes away. Into the lane. Off the assist from Williams. No good, but the foul is called. It's going to send Mathis to the line. First one. Vipers back on the attack. Nice pass down low. Don't believe that's going to count. I think that was a big shot. Might have been on the yak. Let's see. Get a signal from the official. It was a N1 opportunity. And then the follow up after the Vipers get it right back. Clark makes the free throw. It's both. Especially the cross Smith court. It's it across to the near side wing, making a move into the lane as Hubbard can't get to go with the floater. The ball is tipped, taken by the Vipers into the front court. Driving down the lane. Whistle. Have back at the line again, Clark. Nice put in. One and one. Piper is in the lead. Black Knights attacking down big. It's the ball in the hand. 329. Pass down low. Have a whistle. 
Mathis will hit the one for two. up back with Hubbard on the carom. Hubbard misses the three. Ball is still on the ground. Sims comes away with it. Throws up a floater in the lane and good. Picks one up. What a play. A lot of fortuitous bounces there. It's back to 11. Viper is in command. Pass down low. Good catch. Tough shot. Good contest by the Black Knights. And I don't know what the final call here is going to be. Looks like a jump ball. Give the ball to Rifers. About the third or fourth tie up we've seen in so far. In, go right to the cup. Draws some contact. I'm gonna send. I believe that's Clark. Good. Check that knee. You let them win. Just freak them. Come on, baby. With some encouragement from the crowd. Neil makes the second. One of two on that possession. Something happened. Good defense has to give it up. Pass, set, good hedge, good trap, and a step on the out of bounds line. Yep, at the half court line, it's over and back. That was a great defensive sequence from the Vipers, who have really used that pressure defense to affect and flip the script in this game. He is up. Rainbow shot at that. Bennett. Gets the rebound, has to tiptoe around the sideline, and a fallen knight is able to do so, then finds a man down low with a nifty pass. Good play from the big man. And that pressure defense being applied by the Vipers. Get into the front court, do the Black Knights pull up from 15 in the corner. No good by Sims. Here come the Vipers into the front court, going to the rim. Ball is stripped out of his hands. They're going to say last touch by the Vipers. Oh, they're going to say last touch by the Black Knights, it looks like. See? No? Okay. I thought so. Yep. Off the Vipers. Black Knight basketball. Making the double team. Finishing with a nice running shot in the lane is Mathis. That was a tough finish. He is up. No good. Neither team has shot particularly well from three. Here come the Black Knights and a near turnover there, just a miscommunication. Mr. Volkman now tries a three. That one is way off. Never unable to get it done there in that possession. We'll try to go again the other possession and now has a steal. And back the other way. Here come the Black Knights. Cameron again. This time he goes up for a layup and again misses. Taken by the Vipers. Bodies colliding everywhere. Offensive foul. I'll tell you one thing, the referees do a good job, uh, this particular crew, particularly the far side judge, director of traffic right now, does an excellent job with his hand signal. Very easy to follow. Knights. Gonna 
the play. Nice move down low and a missed dunk. And yeah, you can't do that. You see, black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See, in continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather, to write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture, sharpen our skills into they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategize and analyze and advertise and sometimes just fantasize. See, 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective. One for all and all for one is the objective. You get the message. See, we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side. You know the vibe. You may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names. The level up is insane. The true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot. So that is a technical foul, yep. And what you can't do there is if you miss a dunk, you can't hang on the rib, try to grab it with the other hand and put it back in. Like, oh, wow. That's why we have the technical free throw. On the basket. Technical free throws are good. All the one made them. The Vipers get the ball back. Make something happen. Aimless pass and a good ball is tipped around. And it's going to go to the Black Knights. the view with that hanging backward and they throw it off the body looked like it went off the body off the play by Williams yes it did heady play looked like he threw it off the body of Caldwell 14 point game 250 one and a half lane. driving down the lane trying to go with the left handed finish no offensive rebound up and good strong move on the offensive glass by Parks Caldwell tried to go with the entry pass. Good hands up playing. Good hands by the Black Knights going the other way and drawing the foul. Is Furlow. after a pair of misses from Erla. High post, touch pass, your side wing. Corner. now cutting into the game, comes the cutter, back out, back to the post, good ball movement all the way around from the Vipers, getting into a good spot, can't get to go, Williams with the contest and clear, good job by him defensively. Now across the midcourt, he's trapped. Tough spot to be in. Say, 
Adi. Throw rattles out as well. Oh, to see why that trip from Williams. Rikers in the front court. Get it to the corner. Good look on the baseline. Back of the eye, no good. Ball tipped around a few times. Ends up with the Black Knights. Right back on the other end. But in a bad numbers position and a steal by the Vipers. Good job saving it. Over to the floor to save it. Three is up. No good. Rebound chased down by the Black Knights. And they're going to call a foul. They're frustrated with that one. Hustle shown there by Furlow. And it will be Viper basketball. Left right side, measures it, and throws it back out after getting trapped in the corner. Reset, it's one on one. Near side. One more bounce pass down low. 15 foot. Wiener is off the mark, and here come the Black Knights. They'll try a quick three. That one rims off the front. No good. Rebounded, taken by the Vipers. Into the front court. Kick out, far side corner. Swings it around. Nearly stolen by Furlow. I'll tell you what, a bundle of energy there. is up. That one's no good. Rebound taken. And here they go the other way. Oof. Tough miss. Ooh, that was Sims on the miss. Vipers come back with it. Good play in general. Just didn't go down. And now steals from, the, from behind. Sims trailing the play. No one saw him and he just kind of snuck up and took the ball. Gets to the cup and finishes. That's the old Cloak play, you make yourself invisible to everybody and come up and take the ball from behind. That shot is off the mark, no good. Rebound off the glass and missing, but heading to the line will be Neil. The second, one for two, Williams clears for the Black Knights. And has it taken away by Neil. Pressure offense, pressure defense rather. Vipers has disrupted the offense and saw early success for from the Black Knights. After having his shot, Vipers get it back. Black Knights have done a good job contesting, contesting that one and other deflections. They've done a good job closing out. It really affected the shooting of the Vipers from the perimeter. That one is good as time expires. What a shot to end the half for Sean Mathis. 49-41. At the head. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's going to be the determining factor. What up, man? What's up with you? What's up with you? Nothing, man. How you getting it, man? Regular military. I don't know what's going I would fill out an application, and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. 
crazy. Yeah, that's it's kind of like they force you to. Set up. Like, it's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five, the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where's he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last year. All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Man. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now nah, that look good, man. All right, second half on the way. Vipers with the ball first. Get into the corner. Three point shot is up and good right out of the gate. So the Vipers extend their lead to 10 with the first shot of the second half. On a first half pressure in the full court. We can see that from the Vipers here defensively. Williams gets it across the timeline for the Black Knights who end up with a layup attempt at the rim. Blocked for the foul. Gonna send Mathis to the line. Attempt a couple of free throws. That is not good. Couple of themes of the first half for the Vipers. It was that pressure defense, that full court press for the Black Knights. It was a quick start, which was then thwarted by that press. And now the three point shooting right out of the gate for the Vipers is on point two for two. As you saw Clark cash that one in, and now a turnover. Oh, it, it is still the Black Knight basketball. Okay. No turnover. It looked like a turnover from our angle here, but either way, pressure defense remains. This time, the Black Knights break it. They end up at the rim, and they make a layup. That's the flip side of the pressure defense. When it does get broken, it usually ends like that. At the rim, getting tied up. Down low, and now stolen. Here come the Black Knights in the way. One, two. Trailer finishes with the running left. Nice drop pass. Executed to perfection by Parks. Vipers up by 10. Make it 12 after a nice mid range jumper by Caldwell. So the dribble right to left. Strong move into the lane. Good finish. What a play from Mathis. Three pointer. That one's off. First miss of the half for the Vipers. Here come the Black Knights the other way. It's Sims working on the far side. Now gets it near side corner. 15 footer is up and good. Nice step back shot from Parks. And it's inside 10. And 49. Two minutes gone by in the second half. Free throw line shot is up and good. Well, free throw line extended, I should say. Vipers three for four start the half. Mathis, who's played well to start the second half, gets it to Sims, pulls up from 15, left wing, no good. And a foul on the body. Right, down the lane, finishes with that patented left-handed clap. He's made a few of those as Sims. That's been a move he's Really looked comfortable and confident executing throughout this game. Three-pointer is up. No good. Rebounded by Mathis. 
of pressure defense applied this time from the Vipers. Instead, they go back into the half-court defense. Sims tries a three, comes back out right to him. Give us their baseline. Now it's the free throw line area. Back to Mathis. T. Williams tries a long three. That one off the back iron taken by the Vipers. Press midcourt. Three-pointer. Rims off the front. Taken by Williams. Cross midcourt. His dribble. Holds it to the corner. Jab step move into the lane. Mathis tries a runner. No good. Ball tipped. Taken down by the Vipers. It's 2-1-2. Two two. Now 2-1-3. Two Vipers go all the way. Good defense. And Sims comes away. Good contest. And now a foul is called. Vipers. Mathis will inbound. Gets it in for Parks. Walking across the timeline. Uncontested over for Williams. This side. Trying to gun one down with Mathis. Broken up. Okay, last touch. Hitter. I think they have to go, but an offensive rebound is corralled by the Vipers, and the ball goes way, way out of bounds. For a long carry. The Blackhawk basket. Black Knight, excuse me. I got Blackhawks. Williams. Brings it across the timeline, methodically. Time gets it over for Mathis, who surveys the field. Now goes to the left, off the dribble, back to the near side. Over tries to three, no good. Rebounded on the far side. Vipers, here they come across the timeline. Cross over dribble, right to the left. Corner three is up. That's off the mark, short of the mark. Locked on the second attempt. Vipers back in transition defense. Here come the Black Knights, runner in the lane, no good. Offensive rebound, no good again on the second attempt. Third attempt is good. Way to stay with it for the Black Knights. Fifty-nine, fifty-three. Black Knights have made some headway here in the half. Crossover dribble into the lane. Foul is called on the floor. Could have been on Mathis. Or it could have been on Clark. Clark. Either way, the micro basketball, they get it inbounds from under the hoop, gets it into the far side on the right. Ball is tipped, going for the entry pass to Bennett. It was taken away. Here come the Black Knights the other way, and the layup is good. A breakout layup from, looks like, Parks, and it's now just a four-point game. A strong drive. Can't get it to go on the reverse. Williams clears. And the Black Knights have a chance to cut it to within one with a three or two with a two-point shot. Williams tries the three. Can't get it to go. Almost looked like a pass. The ball is tipped around and goes in. I don't know if there was friendly fire on the tip, but either way, it's now a two-point game. Just over five gone by in the second half. Bennett posts up. Working that baseline. Kicks it out wing. That three is up. Long and off the mark, taken by Williams on the far side. Williams with a man trailing, gets it to the far side corner. Drives down the baseline, tries to get to the rim, can't get it to go. Rebound Mathis, he puts it back up at the rim. Gets fouled in the process. Just muscled that up there onto the iron. Mathis will be at the line. is good as well. Mathis makes a pair. All tied up. Vipers being up by double digits. Now likely will be trailing off that steal. A breakaway dunk is no good. And that's why you say likely. You never know. Too much sauce. Not enough substance on that one, unfortunately, for the Black Knights, and they pay for it on the other end. A three-point shot 
is good. So the Vipers retake the lead. Be a change of momentum here, but nice play by Williams to make sure that doesn't happen. Drives down the lane and very calmly kicks it off for Hubbard, who makes the lay -in. One point game. Nice face up by Bennett. Can't get the mid ranger to go. Comes away with it. Does Mathis. He goes to the lane. The ball the foul is before the shot. And the ball went in on the layup. It was not fun. Mathis has been tremendous in this second half. Nice play. Good pass by Parks, but an even more impressive shot by Sims. Tough shot that mid-range catch and fire. He makes it look easy. Point advantage for the Blackhawks, who've come all the way back, but not for long as the Vipers answer. So now the teams trade baskets. It's a one-point game still. Just under seven gone by in the second half. All to go in the half. He is up. That one is good. So Hubbard kind of used his body as a shield. We didn't see who made the shot. But it's a three-point shot for the Black Knights, who now go up by two. 66-64, Vipers. Bennett. Vipers looking to answer. And they do. Tying it up on the bucket from Bennett. Count it and the foul. Bennett will look to give his team the lead again. Can't do it. Hubbard chases down the loose ball. Parks at the controls. Here's that full court press being applied, although it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Parks breaks it, gets into the lane, bounce pass down low. Mathis power dribble up and good on the other side. Nice play from Mathis. Good patience. And a steal. They do get it back. Now Bennett going right at Mathis. Easy matchup there. Size mismatch too great for Mathis to overcome, and Bennett converts. The game has turned very different than what we saw in the first half. Both teams playing very well right now. Cross court pass. Dangerous one finds its mark. Surveying and sizing up the defense is Sims. He likes to work that baseline, continues to try to do so, gets cut off nicely. Throws it out to the far side corner. Three is up. Off the back of the iron, and it's Bennett with the rebound. Comes out in space, rumbling down the floor. Finds a man cutting, can't get it to go. Here come the Vipers the other way with the three on two. Stims the breakaway layup. And we have a timeout. 70 to 68. Looks like we have an injury on must go on as they say. Like the best. Hey Bennett. Like that. Yeah. Over to Bennett. Bennett goes into the lane. They're going to wave it off. They're going to say Travel is the call. They will drop the pivot for Off clean shot and clean finish. Cameron with the bucket. Good, solid ball fake. Great patience. Way to set the feet. Black Knights. Down big. Now up by five. Looking for more after the miss by the Vipers. Here they come the other way. The Black Knights into the super line area. One is air ball. Comes down. Anthony.
And now he's double team. He is up. That's a shot way off the mark. It's a good one though. Now a steal after the bad pass and the errant handle. And the Black Knights make no mistake as Parks puts it in on the other end. Lane, runner, nice play from Steele. 76 70, six point game. Black Knights on top. Sims, also the drill, pulls up to 15. Leaves it short. Ball is tipped a couple times, ends up with the Vipers. They're looking to push. Into the front court, met by a double team is Caldwell. Finds a man in the corner. Three is up. That one is good from Steele, who's played great in the last couple of minutes. And it's back to two. 75 73, under 10 to go. Ball and a two point lead. Across court. Sims with that baseline. Gets the rim. Out of contact. No foul. And here come the Vipers. Up ahead. Wide open three. Steele tries again. That one is short. Ball is tipped. And finally controlled by Mathis. Yes, sir. Shooting a technical foul before. Moves like that by Caldwell might just do it. Shot for 15. Ready to go. Mathis clears. And he has it stolen on the lazy pass to Williams. And it turns out to be a bucket for the Vipers who take the lead 76 75. Vipers back up one. Now that pressure defense being applied again. Here's Hubbard. Gets it across midcourt. That pressure defense really did a good job, but great job by Sims. Again, that baseline drive is just devastating. He's got a strong, strong presence on that move. And going right to the body, looking to draw contact, and does. I that was Coldwell, or was it Neal? Neal. So Neal draws the contact, I believe, against Williams. That's in the line. 76-76, under nine to go in the game. Was no good either. We have a whistle. Is it a lane violation? The Black Knight basketball. Tied at 76. Trying to get it in. Having some difficulty. Do get it in finally. And now, good job with the touch pass. Breaking the press over the Sims. And that play was just beautiful. Sims with the finish. Nice job by the. Black Knights, really probably the best job they've done all night, breaking that press very confidently. And they are rewarded with an easy layup. Here come the Vipers trying to answer down two. A three is up. That one rattles in and out after the second attempt and taken by the Black City, uh, the Black Knights, excuse me, the Ren College Black Knights. At the controls, Parks. Green by Harvard, not effective, but Parks gets around it with the ball handle and now gets it taken away. Here come the Vipers, it's three on one. And that one seems to do a good job. 
but nice job kind of dancing around the body and finishing with some dexterity there by the Vipers. That was not an easy play. Great job by Hubbard really making that difficult. And now a steal, just, and then they're stolen right back. So a little sloppy couple of plays there by both teams. up with some Williams Williams has been he's on the court the primary ball handler Black Knights if he makes the first a pair. So after what we thought was going to be a blowout in that first half, the Black Knights came out. Viper, uh, Vipers didn't score for a few possessions. Then they turned it around in that first half with a huge lead as the second shot doesn't go in. Possession here. And then here in the second half, the Black Knights have been the better team and currently lead by two. We have a whistle. Lead is 78, 731 to go in the game. on the floor. That one's going the other way. Black Knights are leaving the ball. Across the timeline is Mathis. Now he attacks. Goes up. Gives it to Sims. He'll try a win three. That one's no good. Ball is tipped high in the air. Taken. Chased down by Williams. Up in that corner, trying to dribble his way out, gets it. Sims on the wing. Sims, a couple of dribbles, tries to go back to Williams, playing a little tap around. Finally gets to Sims. He tries to lay up in the lane. Tough step through lay in. No good. Ball is tipped out of bounds. I'm going to say last touched by the Black Knights. Pull up. Short. Gets it again. Short again. It's the third time. My goodness. Good effort being applied and attacking on the fourth attempt. No good. Finally, the fifth attempt is good. Neil cleans it up. But great effort from Seraphin all the way around. Getting two offensive rebounds off his own misses. Ebert. Lane keeps his dribble. Cross over right to left. Gets it to the corner. Driving baseline going up through Sims. A good defense applied by the Vipers. Here they come the other way off the block. All the way to the cup. Going up to the glass with the left hand. No good. Bodies bouncing around. The follow up is good. No call. And it's 82 to 80. Vipers back on top. Clock ticks down. Six minutes. Parks. Like he tripped. I don't know if they're going to call a foul there. Ew, so Parks will go to the line. Come the other way. Vipers. The lead of the ball. Getting to the cup. A nice finish by Bennett. Good pass. Good entry pass from the wing. Nice play all the way around. It's a four point advantage for the Vipers as we enter crunch time. Six. One on one. Dribble. Hubbard. Survey. Still has it. And then out goes cross court. Nearly taken away. Neil got a hand on it but couldn't control it. Uh, 
I think it does. Tour be lit. First of all, to even be on tour, you got to be, you got to be one of the one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. Been to Boston, Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like Fast and Furious, right? Like it's <laughs> you know we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special, and you see it, and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people, and it's fun. Bounce, arc set the controls. One on one. That's it for Hubble. Then Bennett, that's a screen for Mathis, gives to Mathis, and it has switched over to him. One on one there. Gets it down low for Hubbard. Hubbard tried to exploit his size, kicks it out for Sims, lines up a wide open three and knocks it down. Nice play from Hubbard on the kick out. Good concentration from Sims from the wing. And if my math is correct, it should be a one point game, and it is. Five minutes to go. One point game. Bennett spins into the lane, kicks to the corner, last second three is up, and way off the mark. And running it down is Parks into the lane. He's fouled on the reach. That one will be on the floor. And in one situation, or Second, that's a chase out of his own rebound. Can't do it. Here come the Vipers the other way. Three is up. Real quick shot. Maybe not the best shot in the world. And the Black Knights come away with it. Back the other way. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to Euro step into the lane. Nice pass and a good finish. What a play. Mathis on the finish off of a beautiful pass from Parks. Just like that. Black Knights back up one. Inside five to go. Driving baseline. Good finish. Good block. What a play. Mathis comes over from the far side. But throw that one out of bounds. It will stay with the Black Knights. Sorry, with the Vipers. Block. Let me see if Mathis. Vipers get it in. Bennett catches it deep. Has to go off. And they try to get it back to him. Probably a dangerous pass both times around. They do chase it down. Bennett now working. Kicks it into the corner. With them dribble all kinds of time and still can't get it to go. Chasing it down on the far rebound. Parks and Hubbard, it looks like maybe. Let's see who it was. Going back the other way. Okay, it's Sims. First free throw is good. One rattles home as well. Eighty-seven, eighty-four. 84 Black Knights up by three. Before the go, clock becoming a factor. Baseline down to low post and a nice finish. Good offense that time from the Vipers. It's a one point game. Yeah. 
in, looking for someone to get it into. Finally does get it in. Looks like they trusted to Parks to walk it up the court. That's a quick screen. Parks on the far side now. Attacks, kicks it near side. That three is up from Hubbard. Is no good. Rebound comes long out to Vipers. Corner to the wing. Three is up and good. What a shot. I think that was Caldwell. 89-87, 15 to go. Trapping off, uh, trapping defense again from the Vipers. This time the Black Knights break it. They'll try a three of their own and knock it down from the corner. My goodness. So Sims again, probably been the most effective offensive player in this game for the Black Knights as a three is cast from the far side by the Vipers. No good. Bennett gets it back, is blocked by Sims, but a foul. A one-point game. Black Knights up by one here on the road against Union County and hometown Vipers. Bennett put his team back up by two or tie it, depending how he does with these free throws. First one rattles in, so it's a tie ball game. I want to give some credit to our scoreboard operator. They've done a great job today. Right on top of it, as well as our camera crew and everyone here. And it's Gary Aid. Coverage of Union County Vipers basketball is presented by 1891 by Triangle. Then it makes a pair. Vipers back up by one. Good defense. Moving the feet by Bennett, keeping formidable Sims in front on that baseline. Now it's moved by Sims trying to stay on that baseline. They're going to call a carry. Great defense from Bennett. Really moved his feet, kept his chest in front. A great, great job of individual one-on-one -on -one defense. You know, one thing I've always said about basketball, you all know what a clutch jumper looks like or a clutch bucket. This clutch defensive plays too, and not just blocks or steals. A play like that is as clutch as clutch gets. Really a tough one-on-one -on -one assignment. Bennett did a perfect, superlative job there and really won that possession for the Vipers. You can't convert on the other end. Hubbard gets the rebound off the short miss. Black Knights down one with the ball. And we have a timeout. 91-90, to go. Cut back to the action. Here's Parks, one on one against Steele. Green coming from Williams. That's it to the right of Steele. Now they get it to Mathis. Mathis one on one as well. Looks like he's going again against Bennett. Tries to go to the body. Gets it to Williams. Bennett contests. Again, another good defensive effort from Bennett. Causes a Black Knight miss. Here come the Vipers down by one. Or up by one, excuse me. Bennett tries a three. That one's no good. Rebound Mathis. The other way. Dribble. Pulls it back. One with Steele. Crosses over. Now crosses back. Spins into the lane. Uses the body. Fade away. No good. And taken by the Vipers. Both teams have really closed up the defense pretty good these last few possessions. A fadeaway jumper is no good. Taken. Rebounded by Williams. Just over a minute to go. Vipers clinging to a one-point lead. It's 91-90. Williams at the controls trying to change that. They have Hubbard in the post. If they might be going there. They're not. Not sure what they're waiting on here. Really taking some air out of the ball. It's like a playing timeout. Now Williams with the crossover move. Gets into the lane. Kicks it for Hubbard. He'll try a three. It's blocked! And taken by the Vipers! Oh, man, what a clutch defensive play. A uh, 20 second or so, almost 30 second possession ends in a block shot and a turnover. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history, it's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends, 
and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. And give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. For the Black Knights. Again, the Vipers have really been controlling the last few possessions with their defense. Black Knights, to their credit, have held serve on that end as well. All the great defensive plays the Vipers have made, the last few possessions have not yielded points. Black Knights holding steady. Now a wide open three, though. Instead, they'll walk it away, trying to burn some clock. Now they're going with a double team. Traffic people and trying to get away from it with Steel. Gets it to Neil. Neil kind of walked into the trap as well. It's a nice trap. And now a Steel back the other way. Black Knights up one. Hovered on the steal and the finish. Vikings have to hustle. Inside 10 seconds. Getting to the lane. Pulling up. Getting cut off. Working. Trying to get to the lane. Throws it off. No good. Ball is tipped away. And that will probably do it. I don't know if there's any time. I don't think there is. Let's see what they say. There may have been a foul prior to the clock reaching zero. I'm not sure. But if not, this is a nail-biter win either way for the Black Knights. 92-91, that will do it. And again, the Black Knights come in here and upset the home team Vipers on the last second breakaway steal and layup by Hubbard. And thank you for tuning in. This presentation of basketball by 1891 and Triangle for our entire crew. I'm Gary Aid saying so long once again. Black Knights 92, your Vipers 91 here on 1891 by Triangle.